Hey guys, hope you are all doing well. For those of you that are new here, my name is Luca. This week I'm doing possibly one of my most requested videos and that is my everyday hairstyle. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe if you are new here. I'm trialing two videos a week, one every Tuesday and one every Friday. So if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and that will keep you up to date with my videos twice a week. Whenever I made a tutorial in the past on a specific hairstyle, it's kind of been like a step-by-step -step process, much like baking a cake, for example. However, in this tutorial, it was a little harder to do that, which makes it kind of confusing at times. But I've kept this video unedited as much as I possibly could to sort of show you guys how exactly I actually do my hairstyle. Essentially, they're gonna be three techniques which you need to know. These techniques are completely made up by myself because I don't know what they're called or if they are even a legitimate technique. So we're gonna give them a couple simple names. The first one is essentially where you blow dry the top of your parting. Uh, quite high up and basically you're just blow drying all your hair over to one side I do have a little clip to demonstrate what I mean, but it will also become evident throughout the video The next technique is something I do with pretty much almost every style and it's where I blow dry my hair Downwards and then upwards. It may seem kind of strange to do this at first But honestly give it a go and see how it works for you for me It generates so much volume and makes my hair much more easy to style and this last technique is what I find probably the hardest to explain. But as you can see from my hairstyle just now, on one side the hair's been blow dried all over. However, on this side, all the hair is tucked in. I like to call this the lift and tuck. Again, this will become much more evident throughout the video, but I do have a little clip to demonstrate. Essentially, the hair is just being lifted and then tucked further into the sort of thickness of my hair to allow the hairstyle to form a solid shape and stay in that shape. So now getting into the hairstyle itself, I first start off by towel drying my hair. This is the towel dry process from start to finish. As you can see, it is literally only a couple seconds long. Then we go in with a round of heat protectant spray to prevent any damage that the blow dryer is going to cause. And then we go around with my favorite pre-styler of all time, which also does have heat protectant built into it, but I do like to get that sort of double assurance um, by using the heat protectant spray. Using the blow dryer, we're going for that side part blow dry again. And then we're going straight into the blow drying downwards. And then once that's fairly dry, we're then going to blow dry upwards. And as you can see, the volume is already starting to kick in. We're getting that shape um, beginning to form and my hair is becoming a little drier. Then keep repeating these process until your hair is a lot drier. And then we're going to go in with that lift and tuck I showed you. So without even the use of a finisher, you can see how well Original has shaped my hair into the shape I want it, essentially. Some of you may not even want to add a finisher at this point, but for me, I prefer the extra hold, which will last the whole day. Um, so I'm going in with a round of claymation. Then we're going to grab our blow dryer again and basically just go through them techniques again until it gets to a level of dryness that we're comfortable with. I'm then going to use my fingers to comb it into place um, and a position that I'm comfortable with. And then the last step is to finally go through with a round of hairspray. I like to use short bursts to ensure that I'm not over concentrating one part of my hair. Hairspray does need some time to settle in, so after you've gone around your hairspray, just go on your phone, text a few people, whatever you want to do, just stay put for that couple minutes. And then finally, we have a few shots of the finished look. So that is all for this week's video guys, I hope you did find it helpful. Again, if you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next Friday. Peace.